Hi everyone, Daisy here with a layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict cut file design team. Um, I am back on the team now. I took a break and I'm coming back and I am using this beautiful fall banner cut file and I am going to apologize for the autofocus. I usually shut it off and apparently I missed it this time but um, hopefully it's not too bad. So I have this cut file and I cut it out on um, some craft cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. This is a very thick cardstock. Um, so I decided what I wanted to do or my plan was is I'm going to paint it with these shimmers paints and I'm going to use a few different colors. Um, the first one I use for the pumpkin is called My Clementine. That yellow is Dandelion. This one is um, Gold and Roses. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Um, then I'm going to use one that is called Penny for Your Thoughts, which is this one. It's a beautiful copper color. I absolutely love it. Um, I use a mist called Scarlet's Fever and a mist called Sapphire and I think oh and then um, another paint called Sunflower and I didn't gesso this paper because again it's super thick and so I'm just coloring in all of the um, like extra bits so the leaves the pumpkin the bird um, <clears throat> I'm going to color them all in and I'm going to use the colors multiple times to try to spread them around the cut file. Um, I love this cut file. It's so sweet and perfect for fall and you know who doesn't love fall right? I do have a shortage of fall pictures because I tend to scrap a lot of um, a lot of them during the fall and we didn't get to go to the pumpkin patch this year so we don't have any like really new ones. Um, the weather's been kind of crappy here and you know just not going anywhere. We just haven't been taking as many photos. So um, I do end up using one from I don't know if it was last year or I think maybe two years ago. Two years ago. No last year. What what year is it? Is it like 2025 now? I don't even know. <laughs> It's from last year because it's from 2019. <laughs> so anyhow, just using a small brush and just painting this in. Um, this is, it's not super delicate, but it is a pretty intricate uh, design. So I do recommend when you're taking it off your mat, if your mat is sticky, be um, a little careful and slow about it. Um, just because you don't want to rip out the inside of the leaves, like the little veins and stuff. And I decided I just needed to go over that yellow again, just to make sure that it was dark enough. And here's that beautiful coppery color. Love it so much. Um, and yeah, so just painting away. So while I'm doing that, um, we are having a YouTube hop for the new design team which is being announced today um, so I will have links to everybody's channels down below so you can check everybody out um, we're all using or trying to use different cut files I think we I think we did a good job I, I think we all use different cut files um, and if not we're using them all in different ways sometimes it's nice to see people use multiple cut files uh, or cut files sorry Let's start this over. Different cut files or same cut files with different people. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, just to see how everybody like creates differently. It's it's really interesting to see like how different um, people can come up with, you know, different inspiration from the same thing. But but I, like I said, I think we did a good job and picked different ones. So this cut file is part of the new release for November. 
so this will be available in the shop and I will have links down below to the Etsy shop as well as the Facebook group so if you don't already belong to the Facebook group um, click the link down below and head on over there and get joined because it's a great place to find inspiration and find out what's going on also the free cut files that are available um, once a month are available in the announcements of the group um, as well as the challenge so the announcements is a great place to check really in probably most Facebook groups so um, sometimes they're collapsed down and you have to click it open so that you can see all of the different ones okay so here I lost a little bit of footage so I used the um, I think it's called fall leaf corner I will have it linked down below um, cut file from last year and I just kind of flipped it over and put two of them together and then welded them and then I stitched around um, the background paper there with some gold thread um, and did a, a little swirly design and then I stitched the cut file down so it is a little off a little off here but um, it's okay doesn't bother me I really want to do like this white on white and then have this like the colorful piece be that other um, cut file the new one and I really love how this turned out I did back the cut file with um, some parchment paper which is a little bit thicker than vellum um, just because I didn't want to back every tiny piece although now I kind of wish I had but anyway I still love it so um, that is going to be like the main kind of focal piece of my layout and then I'm just embellishing here with some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins um, this is a mix called Fall Festival I think it was from last month or maybe Maybe I'm getting it mixed up. It might be from last year. I don't think it's available in the shop any longer, but it, the colors matched the colors that I used to um, paint that cut file. So I'm just adding a bunch of different sequins here. Kind of keeping it focused around the cut file, but then I am adding um, a few up here in kind of where this third cluster area is going to be. Um, I did add a couple of the iridescent leaves that came as part of that um, sequin mix and now I'm looking for some title options so I wanted something like happy together or something like that and that is actually what I end up titling this is happy together but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for like other embellishments so I pulled out a bunch of options here and I don't I don't think I actually end up adding anything except for one chipboard piece and then the title so here I'm playing around with these thickers and um, it has the happy together so it's perfect but I didn't like how like matchy matchy the font was and I felt like it was a little too squished together so I mean that was fine but I didn't 100% love it so um, I found this little tab here and it says like hashtag today or something so I'm adding that up there and then I'm gonna find these other thickers from a couple years ago last year maybe last year I don't know I ended up with two packs of them I think they're from like patio party or something like that um, but they're wood grain phrase thickers and so I'm gonna use the together and then just use that little happy that I have there and then I'm gonna flip through some other things but ultimately this is gonna end up being the layout so yeah so like I said, click the links down below, check out everybody else's creations, head on over to the Facebook group and join there. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that everybody's staying safe and he healthy. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye.